Bernie. Because I, I got some more show to do. Come here, Bernie. Oh, no, 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 no. Put your money back. Huh? You're going to challenge him? Me or him? I, 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 don't, I, I got my dress suit on. It's in my closet. Oh. But I do, I do have that. Yes, I do. I have that medal. How many here? Oh, by the way, I have a good friend who came all the way from Pennsylvania about three, four weeks ago. His lovely wife called me and told me that he has cancer. And he's the one, I don't know how many of you were there the night uh, of my birthday, September the 7th at the Glen Burnie Moose. But he's the one, when I lost my hearing aid, he pulled his hearing aid out, came up and I sang for another two hours. Yeah. And he's here tonight, he's, all, um, he's taking all kinds of medicines, but we want to pray for him tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, my good friend Pete, would you stand up? And he's gonna, he's gonna beat it, he's gonna beat the cancer. I love you, dude. And you had, you, you had cancer also. I'm sorry, I'm not hung up to thank cancer for you. And all you gotta do is believe in Jesus. He'll heal you. She had, she had, she's had cancer since she was a baby. Amen, sister. Pray for him tonight, folks, would you please? All right. Do we have any country fans in here tonight? I want to hear it. Do you have country fans? Well, I had the pleasure and a wonderful time spending with this man. I lived in Nashville for 15 years. And uh, I took him home more than Farron Young. Farron Young, George Jones, and myself hung around together. They called us the three must people. <laughs> but I was the one they would call four o'clock in the morning, five, a round down for the Broadway. <laughs> I said, we're about to for the Broadway. Damn fun, no. <laughs> Are you come and get me. So I'd drive down, drive all up and down Broadway until I found him laying there on the sidewalk. I'd pick him up, put him in the car, and take him home. And then, of course, he met this wonderful lady, and he straightened his whole life out. Because at that time, he was called No Show Jones. But she straightened him out, uh, and I met him several years later in California with a Dick Clark They gave him a big, a big welcome and gave him, honored him with some plaques and stuff. And he says to me, we were talking about the old days, this is in the 80s now, so this was the 60s when I was there, 70s, yeah, 60s. So anyway, he said, you know, you already recorded that song that I had. Which one, George? He stopped loving her today. That's a great song. That's good for you. I said, shit, I can't sing it like you. He said, I know, but sing it anyway. <laughs> so here it is. He said, I love you till I die. She told him you forget in time as the years went slowly by she still prayed upon his mind he kept her picture on his wall went half crazy now and then Oh, but I didn't see no tears. 
tears All dressed up to go away First time I'd seen him smile